Daniel Lynch is back to the mound for the Royals. 14th time this year and the first time since June 22nd at the Angels. Yeah, let's hope that that blister doesn't fester up. Grossman grounds one to third off the glove of Rivera and Robbie Grossman is aboard to start the nightcap. Now Javi Baez swings. It's a fly ball center field. This one's deep. Isbell is chasing it and he won't get there. One hop up against the wall in deepest center field. And Javi Baez cruises into second. Tigers take a one nothing lead. And he got him with a slider. Great pitch. Two down. The pitch. Fastball and a high fly ball right field. O'Hearn moving in a few steps. Makes the play. Side retired. So he really had to fight the strike zone. But he gets out of it cheaply enough. Alex Fajardo is making his 12th start of the season. We talked about it in the open. He's a strike thrower. He needs to work ahead in the count. That'll be to his advantage. See if he can do that here today. MJ Melendez, who's catching tonight, will become the first starting catcher to bat leadoff in Royal. History. Given a one to nothing lead, Fiedo promptly walks the Royals leadoff hitter. Now Bobby Witt Jr. Line to left field. That is down. It'll be for extra bases and it will tie the game. So an error cost the Royals and a leadoff walk has cost Detroit. Swing 3 and 0 if it's your pitch. No. Didn't want it. Don't blame it. It's ball four. Runners go. And Olivares takes ball four. So the inning continues. Bases loaded, two down to Kyle Isbell. To right field, but right at Victor Reyes. Whew, that was laborsome. 37 pitches, and yet Kansas City, somehow, some way, only scored one run. Mickey Lopez extends his lead at first, not running, and a line shot into right field. A solid single for MJ Melendez, and back to back hits. Witt Jr. leads this team in homers, RBIs, and extra base hits. 2 1 pitch. Ground ball into left center field for a hit. Here comes Nicky Lopez to score. So the Royals lead 2-1, and Junior has driven in both runs. And he walked in, and the bases are loaded for the second time for Kansas City. Now he'll face Hunter Dozier. The 2-1 lifted to left. Grossman on the charge. He's got it. Melendez will tag. The throw comes all the way to the plate. Skips by Haas. Fajardo's there to back it up, and Melendez retreats to third. Wow. What surprised me more than anything wasn't the catch at all. It was Melendez going halfway down the line and then hitting the brakes. And O'Hearn muscles it into center field. Melendez scores, Junior scores, and the Royals lead 4-1 in the second inning. It was a decent pitch. It was kind of boring in on his hands, and he hit it off the handle, but he was strong enough, and he hit it in a profitable spot right up the middle. 4-1 Royals, and Tyler Alexander trying to keep it right here in strike one. Ground ball softly to second base, scooped up by Scope. He flips to Spencer Torkelson to get Kyle Isbell on a soft ground ball. Nine men bat for the Royals. As they bat around in the second inning. Tyler Alexander going back to work in the bottom of the third. He gets the eight, nine, and one hitters. And Rivera hits it to the gap in left center field, and that will roll deep. And Rivera will stop at second base with a leadoff double, and he has a career high nine game hitting streak. That away. Melendez hits it deep to center field. Castro is there, but that is deep enough. Get him on, get him over, get him in. And the Royals lead 5-1 in the third inning. Tigers offense has got to get cooking here. Just three hits so far and some missed opportunities. There's another one. Yep. To left get center out. field. Get out. It will get down and roll all the way to the wall. Castro into second. He's two for two. It's a leadoff double for Willie Castro in the fourth. Ground ball wide of third. It'll be knocked down by Witt. Bobbled, but he wasn't going to have a play anyway. In to score comes Willie Castro. An infield single. And hey. the Tigers get a run to make it 5-2. to two. Lefty Lynch into his motion. 3-2 line drive. Base hit into left. He's 2 for 3 tonight. Two sharp line drive singles. Mike's not coming out by himself. He has Royals trainer Chris DeLucia with him. And remember, he is coming off the injured list tonight after experiencing a blister on his left middle finger. And that's where Chris is focused on. Left hand. And frustrating for Lynch. He does not qualify for the win. Gail Cabrera grounded to second in the first and struck out swinging in the third. That's a fair ball. Down the left field line, Baez hustling to second. Ramon Santiago will wave him home. Miguel Cabrera trots in with an RBI double. It's now 5-3 Kansas City. Well, they keep pecking away. I keep saying all you have to do is keep grinding and produce a run. You've got plenty of time left to get back into this one. 
Runners at the corners, one down, the pitch and a swing, and a grounder left side. Bobby Witt has it, goes to second one. The relay from Lopez is in time. It's a 6 4 3 double play, and it gets Quas and the Royals out of a jam. Lopez at second shades up the middle of the outfield straight up. The 3 2. Swinging a line drive to the gap in left center field. It's going to drop. Chasing it down on one hop is Isbell. He'll get it in. Eric will turn and hold. Ground ball to third. Oh, what a glove play made by Rivera. Can't get the man at second. Everybody's safe. And the Tigers have the first two men aboard here in the eighth. Shattered bat. And Coleman lets it drop. Now they call the infield fly rule. The runners still left their positions, so there was a chance for an additional out. Well, hammers one to right field, but right at O'Hearn, who makes the play. Runner tags at second and goes to third. Three and two, two out. There goes Scope. In comes the pitch. And strike three called. Hops away from Melendez, but he picks it up. And tags Candelario, who's still at home plate, disputing the call. The Tigers leave two on base. Candelario is in at third. Stay with that solid stroke to left. That's working. Third base with way in. And he does, but he hits it. Yeah. To Candelario, but through Candelario. It happened to be right at him, and it went right between the wickets. Now runners at second and third. Probably best hitter in their lineup up. In the air, very shallow center field. The infield was in, and Scope isn't able to make the play, and Junior will move up to second base as the Royals add their sixth run. Bobby Witt, watching the play in the outfield, stumbled across first. So he has his first four hit game in his career and has also driven in three. Scott Barlow saved the first game for Kansas City. Well, it shows his resiliency to come back in and pitch in the same day. Run and two the count. Barlow checks in with Melendez. In comes the pitch. Popped him up. Right center field. Isbell calls, catches. Royals have won both. That away, Scotty boy. Way to take care of it. Not a save, but hey, that's a nice job of pitching and shutting this game down. And those three rookies at the top of the order, Melendez, Witt, and Pasquantino, scored three runs, drove in four runs, and were on base a combined ten times.